Christ! Someone help me! You! What have you done? Mecha Larrabee? What happened? Demon! Hell Scourge! Son of Perdition! Vicar! <laughs> Vicar! Jonathan's no demon. He's just a soul. Returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary. Is it really you? Oh, it's me, all right. Precious brother. What is Mother doing here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion. All smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother? Say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. I'm sorry. Let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Of course. You can speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were, in front of me, on a dark pier. The hunger had taken me. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again, as you did when we were children. <laughs> it was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug. A tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth! Mary. I thought I had murdered you. I tried to end myself. We've been through the same horror. We are a disease, Jonathan. A sickness that corrupts all it touches. All we kiss, and all we kill. Look at me. Admire your ilk. I'm so sorry. Apologies will not suffice. I demand reparation. I want a miracle. Are you a miracle worker, Dr. Reed? No? <laughs> I'll show you mine then. The family Reed, reunited and complete. Living forever in a red sea of eternal love. Time to go, Mother. Say hello to my son for Mary, me. wait. I have made friends with vital knowledge. Vampires. We are not alone, Mary. With time, we can learn to live almost as we lived before. How long? What? How long will this masquerade continue? I've been watching you. All these knights in Whitechapel pretending you're still a doctor. You believe you're just fighting a disease. But it's you, the disease. Jonathan, you! I'm a scientist. I'll find a solution. Let our mother go, please. You're always the one to sway me to reason, Jonathan. But before, your motivations were always pure. Now you're tainted. Let her go! She has no part to play in this. <sighs> Very well. Have you heard our good doctor? You can go home, mother. Go home and rest in peace. Yes, I'll go home and rest. <laughs> it's so easy to make them obey or forget puppets for our pleasure. I've seen you have your fun. You are mad. Oh, so 
that's what I am, Doctor. Mad. I was beginning to wonder. I I've been hearing these voices in my head. One in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my ear. Mary. No, don't! Time to die, brother. And this time for good. are just to die for.
stop. Kiss me again. Give me your blood, priest. Final thoughts are just to die for. What have you done? It's time to bring this conversation to an end. Forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary... Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep.
swear it. Then, at last, I can forgive you. One last red tear for my fallen sister. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire. Born anew into an age of death and pestilence, while plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood.
Jonathan, old chap, how are you tonight? I've seen little of you of late. I was conducting research in my room, away from the nightly routines. Of course, of course. Worry not, I understand. The situation has been testy around here. I won't deny it, but we still stand. Have you any reliable friends in the West End? Unfortunately, you will be alone. Except for our ravishing red-headed acquaintance, of course. What of my commission here? Nothing to fear, Jonathan. You're... What about the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll? Where are they? There are only a few of us. Most others would not speak to you. I am the Black Sheep. I have received an alarming letter from Lady Ashbury. She wants me to meet her at her house. I have been granted safe passage. Then you are twice fortunate. I have never been invited to the lady's mansion. And with the quarantine and controls, city access is nigh impossible. Why have you never entered the My dear Jonathan, you have no idea how reclusive the good lady normally is. Nor in what great esteem she must hold you to let you into her domain. Is the quarantine serving any purpose? It is helping slow the propagation of the epidemic. But as long as we have no clue to its origin, its efficiency is limited. What news do you bring? The news is not good, my friend. We try to keep the epidemic at bay, but street... Tell me more. Geoffrey McCallum seems to have sent his war dogs on a hunt. On a nightly basis, Prewen patrols exterminate every skull and vampire they find. Have they come closer to... No. They mainly focus on fallen districts or abandoned buildings. But they're growing in numbers. They... How bad is the epidemic? It is killing the infected patients faster. In less than two days now. The only blessing is that they are... Con Thank you. Good evening, Mr. L. Evening. Soldier? Not really. As long as I don't think you can do much of Goodbye for now, Mr. Good evening, Nurse. Good evening, Doc. Do you need me? I'm afraid I've contract... Not under my roof. Thank you. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. It's locked, all right. Good evening. I'm always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. A colleague? Not anymore, sir. I use what do you mean? You no, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. Are you afraid or uneasy? Why should I? These an interesting point of view, sir. As a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. How did you get this after I left the army? Have we met before? I don't think so. When we first talked, you said you were glad. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. Do you work here? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when... Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons. Why do you have to... Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Since you're not afraid of dying... No. 
I believe we must do all the good we can while alive, for our time is short and the obstacle... Do you think you would enjoy in... I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Do you really believe... As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. Quite depressing. Yes, but the good news is we'll all die before losing our humanity. A pawn? Yes, sir. All kind. Who comes here to trade? I'm very cautious, sir. What kind? With the quarantine, it's not always... Please show me. Of course. It's just trinkets and... It's locked, all right. You don't mind if I search your pockets. Do you, sir? You won't need any of these anyway. I'm not stealing from you, mister. I'm only redistributing your belongings to people who need them more than you. You see, no one has claimed your body, sir. So it would be such a shame to bury you with your value. I will not forget you, sir. And I thank you for your generous donation. It never ceases to amaze me. Good evening, Doctor. How dare you steal from the dead, Rakesh? These people are dead, sir. You should show respect for the dead. What about the bodies I watch over are the unwanted? Do you need me- Hold the proxy. Don't- And that is a good thing. Goodbye, Mr. More bodies will- Good evening, Mr. Good evening, Dr. Ru Is there anything... Really? Why is now... Unfortunately, you... Yeah. Goodbye for now, Mr. F I will not let you down, my boy. 
I'm quite busy right now. Do you need my... Don't be ridiculous. Then you are lucky... I wish this hospital could have... Rest Thank you for your time. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require me? Do you know you're the only one? Despite well, at least your record. Goodbye, Mrs. Go. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. I'd like... Wise choice, Dr. Reed. I really... Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doc. Do you need any... I'm afraid... Our job brings... That's easy. Goodbye. Good evening, Nurse Brannick. Good evening, Doc. Do you require... I will be... Nurse. I'll try. Goodbye. Hello again, Mr. Good evening, Doc. Do you need fights up? Throughout your work. Goodbye. You're lucky. This place. Consider yourself. Don't play the idiot. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Spoiled! Watch out! <laughs>
It's locked. Good evening, Christina. Change your mind? Do you need any... Your money? Could this be the... It is much more than a scarf to me. It is the only thing that connects me to my family and my country. Thank you so much. Tell me about... Are you joking? I have no... <laughs> Short. I always thought I would. You know. Goodbye, men. Good evening, Doctor. Goodbye. Oh, take a look. Don't be afraid. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? I found this box in an abandoned building nearby. I believe it belongs to you. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is mine. So, you faced those loons that roam around there. Extraordinary. I suppose I was lucky. Luck is a commodity round here. Yours should be properly rewarded. About this package, it's not just tools and trinkets, is it? I want to be rude or anything after your kind gesture, but it's none of your business. Right, then. Show me what you have.
My call, Barrett. You paid one way or another. Please, Joe. How long have we known each other? We even used to be neighbours, for Christ's sake. I'd prefer not to give you another beating. Good evening. You look ill. Well, there you have it. Thank you. I'd like to see what kind... Good evening, Jean. Wang Shang Hao, Dr. Reed. How do you feel? I've decided to follow your advice, sir. I won't forget the dead, but my... I've no doubt. To be completely honest with you. Do you still think about your... Of course I do. I know what you mean. Maybe death will take me the way it took Matthew. What are you doing with your... I've decided to help the poor and... That's very charitable. I've noticed that the most death... Giving out medicine. I am a rich widow, Dr. Reed. My departed husband left me enough money to last the rest of my life. How is the sanitary situation? My only relief is that my ma... Goodbye for now. I cannot enter. locked.
got it! Fish is you are. This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. I am not your champion. But of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to Silence! I dismiss you, now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence! I'm tired of all these puppet shows. <laughs> 